Hi friends, this is Jamie. I'm with Moonstone Mamas. Uh, we did a video, it was our first uh, unbagging of an eBay purchase I made. Out of that bag, we have two items that, uh, one is marked and one uh, is stamped with the maker, but we wanted to check them. And I thought I'd go on here and just show you guys real quick how I check my silver and my metals. One of the ways I do that um, is with my silver acid. So what I've done here is I have scratched the stamped area. I have not yet gone around and done all these little guys or this, but it just gives you an idea of how I do it and how I've always done it because I don't trust stamps. <laughs> I don't trust them. Anyway, so, as you can see here, I have scratched this guy until I can't see the black plate through it. The same with this one. This will not hurt your jewelry. It really doesn't. There's not going to be enough done to it that it does anything to the jewelry. Um, so let's get started. Normally, I would have on gloves. I apologize. I ran out of gloves. So um, I am wearing eye protection, and I'm going to be very careful. And I... and. Uh, Please don't get mad at me. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I'm going to be very careful taking the lid off, making sure I'm only touching the black. I'm not going to touch the tip. All right, so this is our silver test solution. And you don't need that much. So you're going to take and drop a dot of it. See there? Just, just enough that you want to see a reaction. Um, and there's that one. So now I'm gonna carefully put my lid back on. Safe, all right. Now I'm gonna grab a handy dandy Q-tip because the reaction happens pretty quickly, okay? So the first one is we will scratch, or not scratch, dip that is the bracelet. And ooh, see that nice dark uh, burnt bricky color? That is silver. That is that 925 we're looking for. And then it starts to um, dissipate quickly. It lightens up, but that dark is still there. Now I'm going to flip my Q-tip around. You don't want to put this with that, get a weird reading. You always want to make sure you're starting with a fresh thing, being careful not to touch that. Okay, so I'm going to put this right down on the ring scratch. And it's yellow. So that means it's most likely an alloy, a metal alloy, or made from the same stuff that our fork, knives, and spoons are made out of, stainless steel and such. But this is a beautiful ring, and you bet I'd wear this every day. Thelma Thrift wears these all the time, and uh, but she always looks so put together, all her jewelry. So Okay, back to the point. This is silver. We know that this is silver on these guys. I will be going on and testing the balls and little joints, but this is also natural turquoise. So now we know, don't be afraid. Go out, get you a kit or order one online. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, please wear gloves. I do 99% of the time. I apologize for not doing it today. So um, that was a quick lesson on how I do my silver testing. And down the road, if we have gold, we'll do that. So everyone have a great day and thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.